Today, I'm going to be giving you guys an overview of the 2020 Honda Pioneer 704 Deluxe. Uh, so starting with the Honda Pioneer lineup, uh, there's the Pioneer 500. Uh, I'll have a link to my video on that right there for you guys to see. Uh, then after that, it becomes the seven, Pioneer 700. And then from there, there's the 700 Deluxe. And then you can get a Pioneer 704 base. And then you can get a Pioneer 704 Deluxe, which is this model right here. So if you're wondering what the difference is, is, is well, first off, the 4 in the 700 starts, uh, meaning it stands for a 4-seater, which this model is right here. Here is a 2-seater Deluxe. Uh, in comparison, as you can see, it doesn't have the extended roll cage or the flip-up seats. We'll get all to that in a bit. Um, now, what the Deluxe stands for in the 700... Uh, the fancier aluminum wheels, the picnic in shocks, the nicer paint, power steering, which is the big thing, paddle shifters, and uh, that's about it. Uh, so you get a lot of options for the Pioneer Deluxe. Um, it is a 700cc liquid cooled, three speed transmission in these. You get two wheel, four wheel on the fly, including diff lock. Uh, you have a dumping bed that also has flip-up seats uh, for four passengers. Give you guys an overview here around it. Uh, but yeah, you can start right up here in the driver's seat. Get a nice door. Everything's really nicely made, well built in these Hondas. They've been out for quite a few years now. So you got your on switch here. Your display, and you have your on off for your headlights right there. Um, in your dash, you get your fuel, you get your neutral, you get a reverse light above it. Um, no seat belt light, that's what's flashing. Now, in the top left, that red light is parking brake, which is right here. It's very convenient. Uh, you got a temperature light and you also have a check engine light right there. Starting over here, you have your neutral, your drive, and your reverse. Uh, when I start it, you'll hear it click in the gear. Um, you get, of course, you got your two wheel, four wheel, and your diff lock on the fly. So you can have it in first gear, you know, leave it in drive. Uh, just come to a lowing, a, you know, slow rolling speed off the gas and you can just move it to what it is and then it'll gauge on the dash it'll show you uh you have automatic and manual mode so you can put it in the drive in automatic mode and it'll drive just like a car or you can put it in manual mode where you can paddle shift through the three gears which is nice if you're going up and down hills and you want an engine brake uh, over here you have your glove box with just your manual on it, whatever you want to put in there. Cup holders are in the doors. And that's really everything up front. Under this, this seat comes up and you have access to your uh, oil dipstick, your oil, everything like that to get to the motor. Um, very accessible. Uh, yeah, so with the bed, you start back, you get two latches here and here kind of difficult you need two hands for it uh, and then they just clip back in and it drops down just like a normal tailgate actually I can show you guys right here so here's it down I'm holding the camera that's why and then to latch it can't see um, but it goes for a latch it's hard to see the latches goes like that. It says Honda on the back. Um, see the painted shocks, the differential. Uh, you can sleep. You can put a hitch right into the rear and pull boat, tra boat trailers, whatever you need to pull with these. Uh, so getting on back to the rear doors, you get a handle right here, and they open suicide style. Um, they're very nice. Uh, they open at an angle, actually, so when they're about halfway, they will hold themselves open, or 
they will automatically shut themselves. And it's a very nice clicking, um, very sturdy feel. As you can see right here, uh, so both of these come up, that's in the down position, this is in the up position. You got your seatbelts, um, your whole cross and everything. So how these seats come down is you fold the bottom up and it has its own latch that holds it right there. Coming behind it, there is a little button you pull right in there. And then from there, you can just push the sheet on down. And as you can see, I can take a put a sheet up or put it down in about 15 seconds. Uh, these doors actually hold them in place, which is nice when they are shut. So when you open or close them, you do need to open the doors. And now it is just like a functioning normal bed. Handle right here. As you can see, when you pull the handle, bed dumps. And you have a full-on dump truck bed or dumping bed, whatever you want to call it, in the back of your side of the side. Then you push back down, it locks, pull handle, air hydraulics, right there you can see, pushes it back up, gives you a nice tilt, whatever you want to put in the back, dirt, uh, yum, or sorry, Honda makes a whole bunch of different accessories, options, windshields, roofs, half roofs, doors, half doors, vinyl doors, um, they make mats for these, so you can get like a half a rubber mat, so you don't get dirt in the cracks of this because I know some people um, will want to downfall this and say, oh, well, what happens when you put dirt in the back? It's going to go right in the seats and you'll have a mess under the seats. You can get a mat for these for an accessory. It's all on the Honda website. Uh, I'll leave a link down below to the Honda website. Also, shout out to GAEF Motors. I'll just go to Glenville, New York for letting me borrow this machine to show you guys around. They have these currently for sale, brand new. Um, they're a great Honda dealer. But yeah, on the passenger side, you have your fuel door. That's where you fill it up. And I know what you guys are probably wondering too, um, is how, how is the comfort in the back seats? So as you can see, I got it up. Uh, I'm like 5'8", so I'm not the tallest guy, but my knees aren't touching. I, your shoes actually can slide in. They go a little bit further here, which is nice. So it's not cramped. I can shut the door here. I got plenty of room around me. I will say the seat isn't the most comfy seat in the world but it works. Um, I mean, for a fold down seat and everything, it's pretty compact, so there's not a whole lot of movement, but it is padded nice, and it is comfortable. Um, but I probably wouldn't want to spend eight hours nonstop against the seat. Probably could. But I'd much rather be wanting to sit up front. The front seats are a lot nicer on this. And again, like I said, when you're done with the seats, pull them up, latched in, grab the hook. It goes right onto its latch. Let's like that. Put the button right here. Pull. And then the seat just comes down like that. You can push it down or even let it auto fall from there. Comes down. And you shut the door. And there you go. Um, yeah, we can come to the front compartment here. If you guys are wondering, it's underneath the front hood. Really just your radiator, hopefully your brake fluid, coolant. Um, fuses are right there.
a lot of this is um, difficult to show you guys as I am doing this one handed. I need to get a tripod. <laughs> um, under, I can show you guys under the sheet now. So the sheet just comes off like that. Under here you have these rubber mats. And as you can see, there's your oil right there. Got your dipstick down there with the green on it. Access to your motor. Um, it's really the only reason you're ever going to need to get to that. These are pretty accident free machines. So you got your fuses, your battery, all right here. And on the other side, just some more access to the motor. You really nothing over here to get to. You got a tool kit right there. Uh, but yeah, that is really everything, guys. If you have any questions, comments on these, um, feel free to leave a comment down below. I always try to respond to your guys' comments, give you honest feedback here. And uh, let me know what you guys want to see me review next. Alright, you guys have a good one. Bye.